Hello there, I'm Andrew Hill. Welcome back to Victoria 2. We're the same place as we were before. I'm just basically going through and making sure that all the factories are in the right place and you know, they're what we need. Uh, things like machine parts and stuff. We're actually making... The thing is, machine parts are so profitable, right? We make so much money from machine parts. Encouraging their production is only good for us. And Granada doing so well here. We're actually selling arms and ammunition like crazy. So encouraging... Um, arms, machine, arms factories and stuff. It's just a good plan, honestly. More steel as well. Uh, and we actually a little shy on explosives. So there we go. We've just spent a lot of money kind of investing in our own factories. All good. All good, guys. What we're doing is we're still investing in our army. It's taking a little while, obviously. But we're going to make it work, guys. What what exactly is the problem? There's not enough luxury clothes, right? Okay. It, it's in high demand. We are buying up stockpile. Can we just please buy this up. There's all luxury clothes anyway. I just don't think there's actually, I actually don't think there's much in the world available to buy. That's probably what's happening right now. Yeah, that's why. God, look how many, look how much we need. Okay. So we, we need to build more clothes. So, that's a really good point actually. So more people in Spanish Catalonia is a very good shout. More people in Leon Costilla as well. Investing in that is only a good thing. Because that's actually like a significant problem in our economy right now. Good. Up we go. Hello. Would you like to peace out now? Can I have the rest of you? Establish, protect. Nope. Okay. Wonderful. Was that so hard? No, it wasn't. Yeah, I don't quite understand why I can't just take Abyssinia. Everyone else can. I'll make a test. I'll do a test here. We're going to make a little save and I'll remove them. And I'll probably Twitch just lower the graphic. Yeah, try and lower the graphics a little bit. That should help. I will remove them from my sphere. And that should mean good things. Maybe. I can't. Take a look. 13th of February. They aren't included in the scramble. Oh, are they not? Damn it. What a waste then. Nope, not included in the scramble. Okay, we'll tie that together. All right, there we go. We just tested it, and yeah, it doesn't work. So we go Annex Mossy. Hooray, we did things. Go us. Okay, so we did that. So we can now go organize Zanzibar, gain prestige. Because basically when you organize it, it gains mining and farming efficiency. And it gets, you know, political reforms and just good stuff, really. All right. You don't have the national focus yet. Okay. What else can we get? Cash crops, Congo Basin. The Saharan Frontier. Ooh. Okay. We are finally at complete peace. Wow. So we managed to gain a really nice big chunk of territory for ourselves. Really pleased with that. Ah. That's super irritating. So we have the Moroccan Protectorate. Our presence in Morocco has reached the point where the Spanish influence felt every level of society. They are protected in all but name. A time has come for us to determine whether a station made official. Should we agree to make Morocco a protectorate and the Spanish colony or support their independence as a friendly ally? So I can do that, and I will never get to inherit them. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. 
or I have Savage Protector and I would gain that prestige. So what I'm gonna uh, infamy. So what I'm gonna do? Don't hate me too much. I am gonna cheat. I'm gonna lower infamy because the fact that it happens at this exact moment when I have too much infamy is so freaking annoying. I'm fine with cheating to make it worthwhile. You know, I think it's, I think it's okay. Savage Protector it. Boom. Look at that. Freaking piles of. Look at that iron. What is that? Give me that. Give me that iron. Not much iron, but. Oh, gold! The Tangier Protocol. What we know is the convention to go on the organization in search of Tangier Zone. It's did my proposal over the fate of the Sultan of Morocco and Tangier by four of the British government to create a 373 square kilometer international zone on the city of Tangier in North Africa under the joint administration of the signatory countries, with the Sultan of Morocco retaining sovereignty of the zone and jurisdiction of the native population. Tangier is to be made a neutral and demilitarized zone. It doesn't suit our interests or we agree to the proposal. It does not. The Tangier Protocol. Do I want that? Victoria 2, the Tangier Protocol. I don't think I want that. I don't think. Right? I don't want that. I don't want it. Doesn't suit our interests. Sorry, buddy. Doesn't seem a little high, but so far. Nothing overwhelming. Budget can go right back down. We now make a pile of cash. We are now stupidly rich. Back to 51% for everything. Tariffs are going to go all the way down now. Oh yeah, that's good. The end of slavery in Zanzibar. Change goods to grain. 50,000 slaves pass annually, but of course... Slavery is outlawed, so no more slaves. What would happen if you agree with I actually don't know, but I don't want it, so. Should I have done it? Crap, should I have done the Tangier Protocol? Let me know in the comments if I should do Tangier Protocol, and then I'll have to see if I can just spawn the event. The convention? What? Is that the Tangier made in the International Zone? Nearby the Sultan of Morocco. Oh, okay. I just don't get to do it. They'll have to take it from our cold, dead hands. We will abide. See Tangier to Morocco. Fine. That's annoying. The Tangier International Zone. Fine. That's annoying. I wanted that. That's so weird. It's so weird. All right, there we go. You lads. Go fight Bolivia for me. Actually, I'll wait until everyone's ready. Um, how long until that goes away, though? How long do I have to do that? Oops, wrong country. Uh, 84 March. Okay, cool. So one year. I'll let, I'll let all my armies kind of head home first. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's... That's crazy. We are really good right now. Nations expelled for Abyssinia. Oh! A historian report reaches that Spanish nationals being expelled from Abyssinia. Oh, there it is! Indeed, the Ethiopian government has systematically limited our influence, meaning we're in a position where we must either accept the humiliation of being thrown out of a civilized country, or step into our authority. So, relation change minus 200. Yep. Oh, there it is. There it is. Mm, that's good. That's the good stuff. That's that's the good stuff right there. Abyssinia. <laughs> so that's how I get at Abyssinia. Oh, okay, so now I, I did actually manage to do quite well in this. I am pleased. Extremely pleased. So now we need to try and get above Japan. Try and do that. Oh my goodness, it's Madrai Bread. We're the raiding party of 75. Oh my goodness. Madrai Bread, what is up? Oh, you're doing so well on Twitch, man. You are doing so well on Twitch. What is up? How are you doing, guys? 
When are you playing co-op with MDB? That is a goddamn good question. MDB, when do you want to play some stuff? We should play some more stuff. Oh my goodness. I am recording this for YouTube, so I'm doing intros and outros. Oh, look at that chat spam. I love it. Thank you very much, MDB. How you doing, man? How are you doing, my friend? All right, we're, we just got a ridiculous thing. We got tons of Spanish stuff for ourselves. I managed to have 111 viewers yesterday. MDB, that's amazing. That is incredible. You are on your way to partner. That is, you are on your way, man. Good stuff. How's our recruitment going? Oh, look at those guards. So many guards. Guards take a really long time to train because they require luxury luxury clothes. And luxury clothes are so rare. No one makes them. No one makes clothes. Everyone just wears whatever. It's just dumb. We need to hoi forward again together again. Yeah, man, we should. We should stream it or something. That'd be, ooh, that's cool. We'll talk on Discord after my, after my stream, right, buddy? Ooh, there's some plans. I don't know, because I actually do streaming more often now, so that might be cool. I need to marathon the series and let me play Vicky 2. Oh, it's a good game, man. It's hard. It is... No, it's not. You know what? It's not hard. It is not that hard a game. Everyone says how this game is so hard. It really is not. It is super not that hard a game. Thank you very much for joining me, guys, who are just coming into the stream. If you have any questions about what the hell I'm playing, please do ask, ask away. This is Vicky 2. It is a fantastic game. It is... I would say Paradox's best game. Definitely. Although I do enjoy the carefree nature of Stellaris. What I'm doing right now is I'm building naval bases. And the naval bases expand my naval force limit. Which means I can get more ships. And the reason I'm going to do that is come 1890 I'll be able to start colonizing people. Oh look a port in Casablanca. Yeah, I, you can only put a port in one province of a state. I have to put it in Casablanca obviously. Blue Outlaw thanks for the follow buddy. Welcome to the stream. Nice stream if you're get streaming. Awesome man. Power Games is super hard to get into but shockingly easy once you put a few hours in. Yeah man. CK2 is probably one of the easier ones to learn I, I would say. It's, well, no, that's not true. That's that's invalidating your experience. I apologize. It's not that bad. It's it's just different. That's the other thing I'd say. It's just different. They're all really different. How do you have 104 views? Because MDB rated was 76. MDB, no, that's where you say, oh, because Aldra is so amazing, right? That's where you actually say that. Thank you for joining me, guys. I do stream four times a week, so I hope you guys give me a follow and join me another time if you'd like that. Hey, oi, go away, Abyssinia. Leave me alone. Jerks. I need to get some ports here. So this is the unfortunately the most tedious part of this game is having to go around and manually click every single naval base that I want to build. It is actual torture. And you can go up to level four right now and I have to do it four times for every single state in the world that I own. Lawman Hacks, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Really appreciate that. Maguire and Lumen Hacks. Stellaris made the easiest. Yes, yeah, Stellaris is the easiest. That's kind of what I meant to say. I'm just being a dumb dumb. Stellaris is the easiest to learn. UI is easily the worst part. UI is pretty hard, yeah. Like Y442, thanks for the follow, my friend. Really appreciate that. Yeah, it's it's not easy. It, you gotta get used to it, and there's a lot that's really hidden. Like, it just doesn't tell you stuff. Skywoo, for the follow. Thank you very much, my friend. You should rave with us every time, and everyone should stay. That way, Alger would also get Twitch partner. Oh! Can we just, can we all just, just blow a little kiss towards the jet stream right there, man. Just blow a little kiss towards him or her. Thank you. It's a very nice, very nice message of you would say that. Thank you. Love to get Twitch partner. I think it's a long way off for me. Um, because I took a long break from streaming because I had like a death in the family and I was out for like two months and all that. And I was in Australia like a few months prior to that. So I just wasn't super around a lot. Now I'm back more and I stream about four times a week. It's great. I work and I work from home. I'm always doing stuff. All I did was expand every single time I got a chance and kept my ships to the limit and no one could fight me. Yeah, there's a lot in Stellaris though, especially if you mod. The um, There's some crazy good stuff in modding. How many subs do I have? I have, I have like six Twitch subs. Highest is about 20, I think I've had. I mean, he and just called me Jet. Thanks, Jet. Appreciate that. You never know. You know, it's, you never, you don't want to, you never want to misgender people sometimes. It's really annoying, especially on Twitch. There's this natural idea that people are all men, which is not true. Um, Krakatoa explodes in Netherlands, the Krakatoa volcano in Dutch East Indies. Victoria, there's a lot of these kind of history events. There's a lot of stuff. How many subs do I have on YouTube? I like 6,800. Gonna hit 7k, I'd say, probably by next month, I think. So, Krakatoa volcano, 70% of the island that's surrounding Archipelagio was destroyed. Is it Archipelagio? Archipelagio. Archipelagila. I don't know. Seismic activity in some is reported to have continued the eruption of the deadliest and most destructive volcanic events in recorded history at a global average temperature drop. Oh my goodness. Drug Prophet, thanks for the follow, man. Welcome to the stream. Please explain detail the culture and religion system in Vicky. Oh my goodness. The culture and the religion system. Is there a culture and religion system? If you have pops need to be the same religion and same culture, 
uh, assimilation occurs to convert people into your religion and your culture separately. Once they are that, they count as a core culture pup and they can be used if you have enough of those people who uh, at least one percent of people that have your core culture and religion you can turn who are administrators you can turn it into a state and build factories there and lose your verified status on youtube so we'll need to get you a twitch partnership to offset the loss as uh, exactly mdb absolutely for those who don't know i had um i had the verified status on youtube i had the tick next to my name because back when verified didn't mean a lot i got drunk with the guys behind youtube in a youtube event and they gave me verified because back then verified meant we know that you are a human person like, that's literally what it meant. It was just like, we know that you exist. And then it became like, you need 100,000. And so any excuse they could to get rid of it and they wouldn't reinstate it, I had to change my name slightly because it was a character issue. Um, and so they got, they wouldn't let me have it again, which sucks. For, it's just, oh, it hurts so bad. I think MDB was one of the first people I told about. It. I think he actually noticed it straight away. Like, why, where is your tick god? Where is your tick? And I was just so upset, man. Get back here. Get back here. So we need to beat up Abyssinia because this means I can get this gigantic chunk of territory. I'm playing the uh, HFM mod, which is historical focus mod, and it adds a lot of railroading. And by that I mean there's a lot of kind of historical crap, you know, like a lot of stuff that comes through that is based on history and it's quite railroaded. So I got Morocco and I just conquered all of this stuff due to the way that this, this mod deals with the, uh, the scramble for Africa. So I just grabbed all of this area, all of this. I've annexed Egypt in one war, which is mad. So good. Why are you playing Carlist Spain? Because Carlist is the true Spain, drunk prophet. Welcome to the stream, by the way. It is the true Spain, and I, I, I beg for you to tell me otherwise, all right? This is the way Spain was meant to be. Also, it's just so fun to roleplay, like, the restoration of the empire. So we have conquered all of the North, South, Central America up to Mexico. Jetstream, thanks for the follow, man. So Mexico, we've conquered all of this and made puppets out of them because we do get uni unique events that allow us to, once we puppeted uh, this area, I thought it was sphered, but I think they must have changed it. I don't know, but I got to puppet it. Um, and it meant that I actually form a unique uh, puppet, which is like a conglomeration. So this one bit, Nueva Granada, is this entire section. Another one will be this section, another one will be this section, another one will be this section. So I get a lot of little puppets. Also, there's a lot of there's a lot of events, yeah. Spain belongs to the Umayyads. Dunk profit. Get out of here. Got to run and edit stuff. Have a nice day, everyone. Should have followed. Thanks very much, man. See you later, buddy. We'll talk later, okay? You conquer my country. Hopefully, you make it better than it is. That's the plan, anyway. That is the plan. In seven, six and a half years' time, we are going to have to deal with the fact that um, oh, ships are arrived. We're going to have to deal with the fact that we need to maneuver ourselves into a position to colonize as quickly as possible and that means we need ironclads like crazy in fact i might start doing that now oh we can remove them from britain's sphere oh yes oh okay um we need to start building more ironclads ironclads have the highest ratio of supply weight to colonial points. This is a pretty good adage in Victoria 2. So you get colonial points, which is the number here. It determines uh, the ability to colonize stuff and the way the colonization works. It's really screwy, but it, the more of it is the better. And the best way to get it is capital ships, which includes ironclads. And when you work out the math, it's all very hidden behind the scenes. It's really annoying. You have to delve into the files. It's on the wiki as well. Ironclads are the best supply weight to colonial point ratio. So if you're planning on filling up your your supply weight, which I very much am, it's the best thing to do to build a lot. Commerce Raiders are better than Ironclad. Untrue. Untrue. Commerce Raiders are not. Look it up on the wiki, my friend. Um, if you look it up, the uh, Ironclads have better per weight in terms of... So... Duh, 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 duh. So in terms of CP roll, Ironclad are four because... So I'm looking at the statistics right now. Ironclad gives you 12 colonial points per ship. Um, but... And a monitor only gives you 10. This means that an ironclad is better. It has an efficiency of 4. Whereas the monitor only has an efficiency of 3.33. 3.33. So it's much better to build more ironclads. But the price. Yes, but I'm filthy goddamn rich. So it doesn't matter. I'm so goddamn rich. It doesn't matter. What is that in Lower Bulgaria? That is as Eastern Romalia. What is that? Eastern Romalia. That appears to be a puppet satellite state, a substate of the Ottomans. That is, that is gross. That's, that's offensive to me. Oh, that's disgusting. The Ottomans I could probably beat into a gentle pulp, to be honest. Wow. Whoa. 
What? So, and if you haven't played Victoria 2, there's, the game has this system of being able to invest money within a country so as to make, so like, to build factories and railroads to make them like you more so you can influence them. Japan has put nearly, has put over 400,000 into the Ottomans. Why? Who cares about the Ottomans? No one cares about the sick man of Europe. Okay, actually, no, they have quite a lot of base resources and grain and fruit and stuff, I guess. That's weird, man. That's a weird choice. I would never make that choice. I just wouldn't. Why haven't you thrown the sick men of Europe out of secondary power? I've been focused on too many other things, man. There's a lot of events in this game, in this mod, that really keep my attention. Like, I'm, I, to be honest, I'm pretty close to losing my great power soon. And I really need to work on that. Um, the ironclads are going to get me quite a lot once I get more of them built. But I just need more industri industrial score. I need more people in factories. And I think I've been recruiting too many to soldiers. So we are desperately trying to get these guys into craftsmen. In Castella Nueva, we have 11.2. How many clerks do we have? 2.6. You want about one quarter of your craftsman number in, cler in clerks. So 11%, that'd be two and a half. So yeah, we're about fine. We have kebab now. I'm afraid kebab is going to have to be just a good little boy and wait there for me. I also need to do this quite quick because it is possible other people might try and grab it. Incident Spanish Ladif. Suppress this now. I do not want to have to deal with a crisis. My do my army is nowhere near built up. So we're just gonna try and get some sieges over here. The thing is, I want to get the cap. Have I lost the ability to declare war in Bolivia? Oh, I haven't. Thank God. When does it go out? When does it run out? I forgot. I forgot I had a CP. Seventh of March, eighteen eighty four. Okay. Uh, 24, 20, okay, these guys can probably do it now. So Bolivia, declare war, make puppets, call allies. Boom. So that, everyone, everyone should do that quite nicely. The madman's actually doing it. Legendary Tesco, that's an amazing name, oh my god. Ah, Italy. So, because Italy is a, it's higher on the great power track than I am, by literally 79 points, literally 79. It means that they get to, they get to control the war. It's kind of annoying for me. Not what I want. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. The Congo con oh. Belgian called a conference in the scar. In the next episode, we'll take a look at the Congo conference. Do be sure to leave me a like in the comments video. Let me take this seriously so far. I was out. I'll continue to be. This has been Victoria Two. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.